Good morning dear students in today's lecture of the subject human resource management we will be studying repatriation process as well as we will be going through the reasons for expatriate failure so let's see what is a repatriation first of all repatriation is an act or process of restoring or returning someone or something to the country of origin this is an act or process or of restoring or returning someone or something to the country of origin allegiance or citizenship the act of repatriating or the state of being repatriated means yes whatsoever you have sent to some another country whenever it returns to the home country when whenever it re returns to the country of origin all this thing is included in repatriation okay now uh, whenever we think about international hrm repatriation is a process in which yes everything everything which is on international assignment okay means whatsoever you have sent for the international uh, assignment or f for international business or something which is international okay whatsoever you have sent into the foreign country it returns back to the home country okay after completing the assignment or some other issues okay whenever the thing which you have sent outside the person whom you have sent outside or might be the company which you have sent outside okay for conducting some of the international business whenever it returns back okay due to some issues or due to uh, due to complete uh, completion of the assignment okay whenever such thing happens this process is called as yes repatriation okay repatriation is the last step in the expatriation cycle and it involves readjustment and reentry of international managers and their families back to their home country okay why it is done yes as the international assignment might be over or there might be some issues abroad due to which this person okay uh, international manager he is supposed to return back to the home country okay overall this process is called as repatriation repatriation means yes re means return okay re means return return to the patriot country or return to the yes to the country of the origin okay return to the paternal country or return to the country of origin okay such type of uh, process is called as repatriation okay now expatriation and repatriation they are not two separate processes rather than the former is beginning and the latter is the closure okay expatriation means you send outside and repatriation means yes something returns okay see expatriation and repatriation expatriation and repatriation expatriation means what yes you send outside okay something is sent to the external world it is sent to the yes it is sent on the international assignment okay and repatriation means yes that which you have earlier sent on the international assignment that returns back to the home country okay overall this two process okay uh, in this two process first process expatriation means yes you send outside okay and in repatriation yes something come inside of the home country okay or something returns back to the home country the employee of any organization yes who adjust well in an international assignment and have performed effectively the international assignment okay related to import or any other thing okay they do return back such type of uh, employees they do return back 
to the home country due to many of the reasons okay now the there are some reasons why employees are repatriated okay see there are many successful international assignments which are very important to the employee's career as well as for the company's growth so many companies what they do is they expatriate expatriated to other countries for doing business okay the employees who are sent to abroad for international assignments are expatriates those employees who learn many things that would be useful to those who will be sent to that same country if some means could be identified as to how they might be mentors to future expatriate employees expatriates can bring new and unusual approaches to cultural environment information gathering analysis of data and problem solving as a result of having work cross culturally in an effective manner expatriates may have been more flexible or less rigid in changing circumstances in that different approaches have been tried in other contexts they may be able to bring insights and innovation to the planning process that may not have been considered previously the repatriate who have performed at a high level may bring a dimension of confidence and competence that will enhance his or her value to the company as it competes in a changing world market expatriates who are or who work outside the culture of the company and the country the repatriated employees may well have insights that can effect needed change that perspective ought to be valued and given a voice within the company okay see whenever a person who was encouraged to work outside for completing the international assignment of the company whenever that person returns back yes he can definitely share his experience in the international markets or in that international assignment and definitely it will be benefiting your company is it so the effective international employees may well have gained insights in how to affect a more coordinated group efforts than encouraging individual achievement okay so whenever we think about repatriation what is repatriation all about repatriation in a large context refers to anything or anyone that returns to its country of origin which can include foreign nationals refugees or deportees okay so overall okay brief review of repatriation what is repatriation repatriation means return to the home country okay whatsoever you have sent on international assignment okay especially your hr okay if you have sent your hr for completing a some of your international assignments and when this person after completing the international assignment or due to some issues when this person returns back to the home country or the country of the origin okay this process is called as repatriation so how this repatriation process happens let's see yes repatriation process happens into four stages or four phases okay after completion of each stage into a chronology after completion of each stage in a chronology yes surely you can definitely do repatriation okay so uh, first thing first thing which you are required to do is preparation yes of course okay whenever you send something outside or you bring something inside okay in both this process you need to prepare right before at least 3 to 4 months you are required to be prepared is it because yes the person whenever you are sending that person on international assignment yes some kind of yes requirement which was essential to be fulfilled into the international assignment as well as okay some of the formalities permissions and other things which you require whenever you send your personnel to other countries okay you might have fulfilled it 
in the same sense whenever you are bringing back that person to the home country yes some of the permission uh, permissions some of the um, formalities you need to complete right so okay within a fraction of second you can't ask anyone to return back is it so for that process itself you need to spend 3 to 4 months time is it okay in this 3 to 4 months time yes you can prepare very well for such type of written or such type of repatriation okay so here in access to this preparation what you are required to do okay or what other things are included in such type of preparation yes first thing is developing plans for future and information about new position okay see now what you are doing yes you are bringing that personnel back to the home country is it yes now here here you need to yes develop a space of job for that person into your company right okay because that person has successfully yes completed your international assignment okay whenever you are bringing that person back yes you need to create a space for that person okay whenever you are creating a space that is new position for that person you require to develop plans for the future and of course you need to collect information related to the new position whichever you are offering to that person okay because unless until you do have information related to that new position surely it will not be helpful for you or it will not be uh, yes easy for you to bring that person and acquaint that person with the yes the environment into the company which you do have into the home country okay then what you can do is you can prepare a checklist of items before leaving that's it okay some of the checklist you can prepare yes some of it's some of the checklist you can prepare who does this see um, the personal manager or the hr manager himself is it yes he is preparing to come back right okay he's uh, preparing to come back okay he need to highlight some of the checklist related to for example if yes the company has sent him for two or three years is it meanwhile in this two or three years he might have opened some of the bank accounts he might be having some accounts into that home that uh, host country is it or there might be certain bills which he is supposed to pay is it or it might be on pending basis is it so whenever we consider such type of bills or then the second step which you are required to undertake is the physical relocation okay physical relocation what it means let's see see uh, you are switching over to the home country right okay now you um you were in some country you might have built relations there you might have certain personal personal belongings okay um, so prior to returning yes you need to remove all the person personal belongings okay you need to break ties with the colleagues and all those things is it before returning itself right okay and even you are required yes to attend some of the training programs because you are returning to the home country okay for example the host country in which in which you were expatriate okay you are sent if that country the host country is developed once and you are returning to a, a developing country yes okay some of the practices prevailing there and the practices in the home country it might differ right okay so 
if you think that you should very well match with your home country yes you need to uh, you need to follow or you need to attain some of the training programs which will help you to update yourself is it you need to update yourself with the nature of home country okay so that it will be quite easier for you to face or to operate in the home country in a positive manner then the third process the third stage which you are required to do is transition what is transition all about yes okay see whenever you return to the home country yes whenever you need to your home country first thing is accommodation okay if you do have um, earlier accommodation yes you can just shift to that place but okay if you don't have uh, anything okay you need to find accommodation is it you need to open the bank accounts is it for comfortable living is it you can also consult some of the consultants who will help you to relocate yourself is it so whenever you return back to the home country yes it might be your duty or on behalf of you the company can also do that okay many of the time so what you are required to do you are required to find the accommodations school for children yes opening bank account so that you can live comfortably okay in the home country and you can carry on your job or whatsoever your job role is okay you can consult some of the relocation consultant okay so that it will be quite easier for you to find the accommodation and all those things okay then it is a readjustment what is readjustment all about readjustment yes it is just matching yourself with the environment of the home country okay so while you rejoin the company as well as the country you are required to cope up with the aspects a company changes okay you need to learn the culture the reverse culture and also you need to know the career demands okay see while retaining you might be having some stress okay you might experience some stress is it so okay the short distance of traveling also it does matters okay because there might be changes okay huge changes into the culture okay so whenever you return you need to yes you need to cope up with a big challenge that is change itself okay so here the first fourth thing which you need to do into repatriation is readjustment okay getting it so all these things all these things you are required to do okay getting it so these are the four stages which you are required to undertake okay whenever you are going for the repatriation okay just to review what is repatriation yes see the company might have sent someone to some of the host country for completing the international assignment okay whenever that person completes the international assignment or there are some issues in the international market okay what this person does yes this person returns back to the home country okay this process itself is called as repatriation okay so with this we do conclude this lecture thank you